Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It was a crazy day of the hashtag FIFA Friday, Footmas content, everything they dropped in the game with prime icons, a new season, new objectives, and two new pretty solid Footmas SBCs alongside of another Europa League SBC, a Pack Supply SBC. We got a ton of content today. A Player of the Month SBC as well. Player of the Month Werner came out as well. So, Basically, what I want to do in this video today is kind of talk about a lot of that stuff that happened today on the market. Look at the SBCs, how that affected the market, what we saw move today, and especially talk about the icons, what we saw move in that area. And then also look at um, Saturday, the 21st of December, tomorrow when I'm recording this, and talk about what kind of content we could see coming then obviously this is the long awaited day the, the sissoko sbc could be coming out so we'll talk about that and look at some other stuff on the market in terms of what other sbcs that we could see so first of all i want to start on like a timeline we're basically going to look at ea's twitter to kind of cover the content from today and talk about this stuff first thing that came out this morning was Timo Werner's Player of the Month card, uh, which is not a bad card, to be honest. I mean, there is definitely going to be some demand for this SBC because it's priced accurately, I think. 250 to 300k for this card. His inform, his first inform at its peak was somewhere around 220 to 250 at some point. So uh, I think that this upgrade, which is a solid upgrade from his inform, his 85 rated inform, uh, I think people are going to do this SBC uh, because if you're using a Bundesliga striker and you need somebody fast, uh, this is your guy. Like he is the fast, best, uh, pacey Bundesliga striker that we have. It's like Lewa or uh, Werner, and a lot of people like Werner because of his pace. And this is a solid upgrade. And you know, honestly, it's going to be out for 28 days or 27 days. So there is a possibility that you can kind of grind to this SBC with the upgrade packs that are out. Um, some market movements that you you saw today because of that SBC coming out. As we can go take a look at that really quick on foot. Um, which it requires an 84, 85, and 86 rated squad with no informs. So I know a lot of people bought that uh, Lars Bender inform for this SBC and it didn't end up being needed, which is kind of interesting. So that card is down a lot. But uh, Timo Werner's inform card, the 85 rated, was down a lot today. And that has since rebounded a little bit. It's kind of something you see a lot with like a meta usable uh, card that gets an SBC, whether it be a player of the month or even an inform upgrade. A lot of times, like Theo Hernandez in this week's Team of the Week, he went down to 33,000 coins when he got announced in Team of the Week, rebounded back to 40k during or after weekend league rewards. So there's always a little bit of a rebound with the panic selling on almost everything in this game. So if it's usable and it's meta, that's definitely an area where you can look to maybe capitalize on some of the panic selling. So I do think some people uh, picked up his first inform today and possibly made some money on that. So we're going to head back to EA's Twitter though and talk through the rest of the content for today. At 6 p.m., uh, well, even before 6 p.m., they dropped the objectives, but I want to cover the SBCs first. We got a David De Gea and a Ante Rebic SBC today. De Gea was priced fantastically. I think right now this, this SBC is going for 51,000 coins, which for an 80 is he not, he's a 90 rated card. The cheapest 90 rated card on the market is Ter Stegen, which is around 46k. So De Gea's SBC comes in as one of the cheapest 90 rateds. And if you do him from the club like I did, he's free, I guess you could say. Or you can at least do him for less than 50,000 coins with some untradeables that you might have in the club. So that's a good card. Whether you like this card in game or not, I mean, it's it, he hasn't really shown up as one of the most overpowered keepers this year like he has in past FIFAs. So we'll see if this card is really good. We'll have to see what people say about it. But... A lot of people did this today because it's De Gea, right? Spanish, Manchester United. Uh, a lot of people wanted to do that SBC because of its price. Rebic got a fantastic upgrade. I don't hear a ton of people doing this SBC, but uh, I think some people are based on how the market movement moved today because it was a fantastic, fantastic upgrade. He got a massive upgrade from that card, and I think his SBC cost somewhere around 100K, right? Yeah, 98,000 coins, which honestly isn't too terrible for that card with the upgrade boost that it, that it got. He was a card that a lot of people looked at early on in the game for his gold card to be overpowered uh, in this game. So I'm gonna wait on icons just a bit and talk about these objectives and the other Footmas SBCs we got today. So I did actually do De Gea for my club. And De Gea made the most waves on the market today in terms of market movements, right? So if we go look at some of the other goalkeepers in this game that took a hit on price today, I think a prime example was this card right here. And this is uh, the new 
Team of the year nominee, Allison, right? And this card is, what is he? He's like 88K right now as it shows. This guy was down to like 82, 80,000 coins flat today at one point. Looks like he is still kind of low. Um, this would be a type of card that I would definitely see rebounding. Look at these all listed for 88K, man. Wow, that's crazy. So that's going to keep his price kind of low. He's actually down at 80K. There was one listed there for 81, I think, yeah? 81k for this Allison card. Once the De Gea goes away, you might see this rise back up a little bit. This guy just provides so many valuable links. He doesn't have any other informs in this game. So uh, I do think that that could be a card that you, you know, maybe to, maybe try to pick up while it's low, right? Because I don't know how many people did De Gea today to actually use him in their teams. Uh, maybe they did De Gea to do that, but... Um, I feel like this guy will rebound at some point after the panic selling today. A lot of goalkeepers went down, though. Like, Yoris was down. Ter Stegen is down. I mean, this is a live card, man. This Yoris is a live card. He was at like 140-something K at one point today. What is he right now? He's back to almost 160. So he's 158. He was down a lot today. This card was 180, 190 yesterday. Um, so again, I think these goalkeepers will rebound eventually. And of course, if we do get more Footmas SBCs with direct links to any of the, like the Oris or the Ederson with a, a Man City center back, or maybe we get um, somebody that links uh, another Brazilian or something like that, you might see some of those goalkeepers rebound um, with those. But that's just kind of the panic selling and how it happened today. A lot of goalkeepers across the market were down just because of the cheap um, fashion that De Gea's SBC came out with today on the market. The other market movement today in terms of panic selling per position was because of this objective right here. Footmas Rusillian. I've used this guy's gold card for a lot of the year this year. He's a fantastic, fantastic card. And he got a really nice upgrade. And it's honestly, it's not too big of a grind, you know. Uh, it's not too terrible to do. The interesting, most interesting objective out of these is the low driven shot and online friendlies. But if you have somebody go into a game with a buddy, you could probably both uh, do this at the same time and get it all done at once. Scoring 15 goals with low driven shots, you can move your keeper away. Yeah, of course. And then uh, try to get those with that card. I think you might be able to do it that way. Uh, hopefully that works. That would make it really easy. But uh, you know, this this isn't too terrible, right? Score assist four goals using crosses. You do a ground cross, stuff like that. But this is an objective I think a lot of people will do. It's a great card. It's French left backs so will fit into a lot of people's teams, even with soft links. Um, so that crashed, not really crashed, but it hurt some of the left back market today. Like especially one guy, one guy that we look at a lot for Thursday flipping, uh, if I could just control the menus correctly, is uh, Dean. I think I pronounced this game. This guy's name always tricks me up, man. Is it is it Luca, Luca Dean? Luca Dean, right? This guy was at 50,000 coins earlier today. And I actually bought a couple at 50K because I thought, you know what? If the Sissoko SBC does actually come out on Saturday, this would be a direct link to that SBC that would definitely go up. So right now he's at like 55,000 coins, even at 55K with a shadow, which is pretty crazy. So we'll kind of see if that card rebounds at all a little bit more. If it doesn't, I'll maybe just take my, you know, couple thousand coins of card that I bought at 50K and call it good there. But uh, even like Robertson was down a little bit today. Uh, his team of the year nominee card, which I think was going to be a really solid riser out of packs. It was kind of kind of hurt by that SBC today because obviously there was another left back coming into the game that people wanted to go and grind for. So some people sold the Robertsons today. There's one at 80K where he's kind of chilling at right now. Um, but those team of the year cards, team of the year nominees were actually... The ones that didn't get affected by goalkeepers or by left backs today were really nice risers out of packs. And we'll talk about that in a moment as well. The last thing I want to cover, though, is the objectives and the new season. So this is uh, actually, yeah, this is the new season right here. Season progress. It's only going to be 21 days long, which it's three weeks. They're calling it the holiday season. And these objectives are actually awesome. These are awesome. We get a Lone Zidane at level 5, which you can then use in the season objectives to get the Zidane Tifo, which I think a lot of people are actually going to go out and do this. And uh, my recommendation for you guys here is that since Zidane is a 7-game loan, please do these objectives in the friendly modes, okay? That might not be obvious to some people. It was not obvious to me right away, but if you do the objectives in the friendly modes, because it says in any foot game mode, you won't be using the contracts on your Zidane card and you won't run out of games, right? Because you have to win two matches, assist in three separate matches, 
and score a volley in any foot game mode with a certain with a certain card, right? So if you couldn't get this done in like in the games that it allots you, like if you took multiple games to get some of these done, then you might run out of contracts. So please do this in the friendlies mode so that you don't lose contracts. There's one little message that I have for you guys right there. But the rewards for this are honestly pretty sick, right? And it's not crazy to grind up to these. Uh, Delph is an okay card, a CDM in the Prem, another Everton CDM. I mean, we just had Gabamin, but uh, these are a couple more objective footmiss cards. A couple nice TFOs in here, gingerbread, you know, a, a buck, you know, some a ball, like the frosty ball, like that's pretty freaking sick. Uh, packs as well. And then Santi Gazorla. I think this is one of the most interesting things that happened on the day. Santi Cazorla, from his base gold card to this footmiss upgrade, he got a massive boost, but he got a skill move boost as well. In the game this year, his gold card is five star weak foot, um, five star, four star skills, and this one is five star weak foot, five star skills. So that is interesting. Before, I think they have told us that there are no live skill move upgrades, just like on a whim in the game. They have to do it to all the cards at once. So. I don't know what's wrong with this one. I don't know if anybody has attained this card yet. It would be crazy to get there. But once we attain this card, is this just a visual glitch? Does he actually only have four star skills in game and it just says five here? Or does he actually have five star in game? I'll be very interested to know what happens with that. And then of course, our two options here at the end are this uh, Batshuayi card, which looks pretty solid as a finisher in front of goal. And then the one that I think people will grind for the most is Perisic. And honestly, this card tempts me to want to grind to level, what is it? Level 20, 45,000 XP. This card makes me kind of want to grind because Perisic is fantastic. Uh, you know, agility and balance boost, you might want to boost that a little bit with whatever chem style you put on him. But it looks like a fantastic center attacking mid. Uh, not the best linking, but maybe a super sub center attacking mid. I think a lot of people will want to go for that card now to talk a little bit more about the icons and stuff that happened on the market again i would kind of just want to use this picture that ea tweeted out today with all the icons that are in packs like this just looks crazy like all of these cards are now in packs i mean they didn't really do this for the base icons when they came out so it wasn't like you know we could see all the base versions but this just looks nuts with all the prime versions of icons that were in the game and released Today, so all these guys are in packs now, and they're going to be in packs for the rest of the year. Prime icons will be in packs from here on out until the end of FIFA 20. So we'll be seeing these guys in packs. And today, they actually did run lightning rounds. They did run lightning rounds at 6, 7, and 8 p.m. UK to get these guys on the market. They were in the 50K, 100K, and 125,000 coin pack lightning rounds today. Uh, and a lot of a lot of icon prices were kind of impacted by this, right? It's very interesting to watch these new cards come onto the market with these primes because people don't really know what to value them at, especially with some of them that the primes or position changes. Akocha is one example. Today, when he first came out, he was 770. I saw him get listed twice. One time he even expired at 770,000 coins. And as you can see now, people want to buy this card and try him out, right? It looks like he's selling for almost 900K. This one's at 839. It's probably going to get binned based on what the bidding and how it looks right now. But that's just a very interesting thing. The prime icons right now, since they're so rare, they're going to fluctuate a lot, right? And some of them are just at crazy prices that nobody wants to pay yet until they continue to get undercut. And we'll kind of, that's the interesting thing about these prime icons when they're so rare is that you don't know where their real sell price is right away because you don't know how much people want to pay for them on the market uh, because they're just very rare, right? I saw a petite sell today at 145. He's now 148, not selling. Somebody bought a Zidane today at 15 million coins. I saw a screenshot on Twitter of somebody who bought this card for 15 million. That is crazy. That is crazy ridiculous. Uh, and then I did also see a the Prime Cruyff has been a roller coaster today. He got listed like the second hour during packs at 7.3 mil. Somebody bought it, tried to relist it for like 8.5 and make some money and make some coins. And then literally like an hour later, somebody undercut that one at 7.1 mil and it didn't sell. So that was kind of crazy, but uh, that's kind of a certain funny situation with these cards. My, th my thing is if you're looking to buy any of these icons, just wait, let them get packed, especially during team of the year when there's lightning rounds upon lightning rounds upon lightning rounds, packs being opened everywhere, saved packs and stuff like that. That's going to be a time to look and see 
when what like we'll get a real feel of what these icon primes prices really look like like then because they'll get a lot of pack supply from all the lightning rounds and promo packs and stuff like that on the game so just be careful with those if you really want one for your team i would say hold off and especially maybe wait until we get a new set of icon swaps and i'll mention something about that here in a second as well some of the baby icons today a lot of them like we talked about in the videos earlier this week if there were a position change like this carlos carlos Albe alberto if i could actually talk carlos alberto if they were a position change or a really meta card, like this Mateus card is a position change. It's pretty meta. Uh, Del Piero was one today that rose. Dalglish was one today that rose. Um, Del Piero was like 1.1 million earlier this week for the, the baby, which is now out of packs. And I think he's now, he was actually selling at 1.3 earlier today. Looks like he's about 1.25 right now at the moment for that card. So that's up like 150K from where he was at his lowest point earlier this week. Again, Carlos Alberto and some of those other guys rose as well, which is very interesting to see. Now, Icon Swaps, I don't think we, basically all we know from Icon Swaps is, um, it's gonna be coming out on December 26th, and there's only gonna be six swaps? Is that, I think that's what I heard from from uh, the EA Sports Direct Communication account. FIFA Direct, let me find this account really quick. I think they were the ones that tweeted this out. Maybe it wasn't. Tweets and replies, was it, was it, was it? I don't know if it was. I did see a tweet today from something on Twitter that uh, the icon swaps are going to be, it's gonna be six swaps. So there are gonna be a second set, I think. I'm not entirely sure. We're gonna get more information on that, but the date for that was December 26th. So we'll have to see what happens for those swaps. Um, I don't really have a ton of information on that. You guys might kind of know more on that than I do, but I just kind of saw that was December 26th and I was like, okay, we'll kind of wait for that then. Um, but other than that stuff on the market today, a lot of stuff did rebound this evening into the next uh, the next day, of course, Saturday. Um, I would expect a little bit of a, of a sell-off and some stuff today on the market and um, possibly some areas to pick up on some panic maybe Saturday night, Sunday night, uh, as we do get into the weekend league sell-off. Just with some of the popular cards in this game, out-of-pack specials, of course. And then again, I want to look at some of the possible um, SBC cards that we could get today on Saturday. Uh, to close out this video today. Of course, today is the day that everybody wants to look for, right? With Sissoko. Everybody thinks this card is coming. It was in the proposed leaks earlier, right? We thought this card was coming. They said it was it was a leaked card that was coming. They had the leaks right. But, you know, since the Havertz, the day with Havertz and Guedes, people had their leaks wrong, right? With De Gea and Rebic today, I don't know if people knew those were coming. So I'm not entirely sure that Sissoko is coming. I really hope that it does because that would be a really, really cool way for to get a cool card and it would probably be expensive, but people would go out and do it. It would probably be a really beast card uh, and I, th I really do hope that EA puts it out. But I just want to say that since the leaks have kind of changed, I don't know if EA is onto us, maybe we don't see this card tomorrow, although I do hope that we do see it. And what would happen if that Sissoko SBC comes out? I think people would pay, as long as it's less than 500k, I think people would do the SBC and you would probably see, uh, well, 500k might be too high, but let's say like 300k, uh, you know, you have Conte right now who's like, what, 280? A little less than 280, like 270,000 coins for Conte. I think you might see this card get panic sold a little bit tomorrow if the Sissoko comes out. Other CDMs, like big time CDMs in the game, maybe a De Young could be panic sold a little bit. Maybe some of the other Prem informs that are center mids. Um, you know, maybe your center defensive mids and center mids in that 100K to 300, 400K. Pogba would probably be panic sold because people would sell that card and go do the Sissoko SBC if it's reasonably priced for the upgrade. Uh, so that's that's kind of the big SBC for Saturday that we could see the Sissoko that would do a lot of stuff to the market. I think people would be willing to sell a lot of things to go and get that card um, because that would be, I mean, Sissoko is still used in a lot of people's teams uh, this year. So the, the Sissoko would be coming out because Spurs were the fourth place team last year in the Prem. And that is what, um, that's why his SBC would be coming out. The other SBC that we would get would be an Argentine SBC. Uh, and there's a lot of interesting options for, for Argent 
Argentina, right? Because we have every day they've been kind of putting out like a big, big name player. Like today we got De Gea, right? A big name player. And then we have Rebic, who's kind of like an OP FIFA card, but not like a huge name in football, right? Not like a big time household name to most people in football. Um, so, you know, looking at Argentina, there's a lot of options. We have obviously the big name guys up here at the top. A lot of these guys have plenty of special cards already. I don't really know if I see them getting in. Um, I would say Lacelso could get it, could get one, but he being on the same day as Sissoko, I wouldn't see two Spurs players as possibly getting in. Uh, Angel Correa could be somebody who gets in tomorrow. That could be a fun card if they if they boost him from like an 82 to an 85. Somebody might go out and do that SBC. That would be a possibility for tomorrow. I would say is a possible SBC. Maybe a Christian Pavone. Um, even Ever Benega, Pastore could be an interesting one. So we'll kind of see what happens tomorrow with the SBC, but it will be an Argentine player, and it should also be Sissoko. Or if they move away from Sissoko, it'll be somebody who finished fourth from their respective teams last year in the leagues. And just to go over that with you guys, fourth place last year was Tottenham from the Prem, Valencia from La Liga, uh, Leverkusen from the Bundesliga, which was interesting that we already got the Havertz SBC. I think they messed up with that. St. Etienne was League One, and Inter Milan was Serie A. So possibly an Inter Milan SBC tomorrow if they want to change it up from Sissoko. Possibly another person from Tottenham. We will see. So I'm going on and talking long enough about this. But if you guys enjoyed the, today's content, I th it would think it was cool, right? I mean, the Prime Icons doesn't really affect a crazy amount of people on the, on the game. Um, but if you're somebody who buys Icons and you're looking at Icons, um, it definitely possibly moved your world world a little bit today with some of these cards coming onto the market. It's going to be interesting to watch these cards in the near, in the their near future as they get rare and as they get more packed, I guess, less rare and more packed in this game. And of course, it's going to be interesting to watch the the baby icons as they're out of packs now but still have a high level of demand for how good some of these cards are. And then of course, we look for the uh, some pretty cool foot miss SBCs tomorrow. I keep talking about stuff, but I want to mention this one last time. If there's any last preparations that you guys could possibly do before a Sissoko comes out today um, or another whatever big time SBC, these last couple days, we could have a pretty solid SBC, right? Because Chelsea, Liverpool, Man City, Real Madrid, like we have some big name teams coming. So I would expect a couple high level SBCs in the next few days. And since the base icon SBC is gone, a lot of of the demand for high rated cards has been lost, right? You know, you don't have that SBC there. The really only high rated SBCs you have now are Messi and Mane player of the month. And a lot of people have started going doing those because they've gotten cheap. Like Messi's 1.7 million coins to do for that SBC. But if you want to club stock the 87s, the 88s and the 89s and possibly pick yourself a 90 Tristegan as well, I would say that's a decent way to get ready for more SBCs that are coming during Footmas. The 84s, that's totally sell time for 84s and 85s, and 86s are kind of lingering in the middle on are they up inflated or not. They're kind of just in the middle. But 84s and 85s are a big sell. 87s, 88s, and 89s are a, a, a pretty big buy in my opinion because I do think we could add some big SBCs coming in the next few days with the big name teams being on tap and in order for SBCs. All right, now I finally talked enough, boys. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below, of course, if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.